Okay, so it seems we're just capitalizing on the Ryza approach of just putting her thighs in every shot we can. So even though it's a mobile title this time around, good to see that at least the models are fairly consistent with the previous modern uh, Atelier games. They do pop and stand out. At least compared to the uh, background. So I know uh, quite a few Atelier fans are not too excited that this is a gacha uh, game and I'm not so sure about it myself. I, I'm not too deep in the Atelier series. I've only played Ryza uh, and I enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, so the biggest thing that I'm really of looking for in you know giving this one a shot is if the character quality like the character interactions development uh there's individual stories and journey if it maintains that same quality and the alchemy um uh, building itself uh the resource gathering creating all the potions and all that stuff uh i think that's those two components are really what make Atelier what it is. And if uh, it fails to adapt to, if the gacha format, if it fails to adapt to that gacha format, I don't think this will be all that great. But I mean, we're going to give it a shot. Uh, the voice acting is phenomenal as, as to be expected. And as I said earlier, the the models themselves, the unique char character models, they are, I mean, they look fine. They look great, especially for a mobile title. I, I'm not too concerned about all this background low res uh, stuff. That's that's pretty on brand for Koei Tecmo. And if anything, it kind of makes the characters themselves pop out a little more. Alright, so we're gonna uh, throw us right into combat, so we're gonna see hopefully what it's like. And I, I do suppose that's gonna be another pretty big draw of this as a gacha. You get all of, hopefully, you get all of the characters from uh, the previous titles. Uh, you'll, you'll get to see them again, so, I mean, that's something. Uh, so let's see what we got. Heavy hitting skill. Alright, just annihilate them. The enemy will snatch your burst panel if you don't do anything. So let's throw a bomb! Try using the burst still. Heaven's Quasar. Holy fan service. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> it's just constant. <laughs> I can't. I just can't. No, 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 you're gonna meet your match, Ryza. Now you know what it feels like. The Atelier has been online. Okay, so we jump right into it. I like the... I like the home screen. It's very nice. 
uh, UI does seem pretty easy to read. Uh, nothing too complicated. I, the, for some gotchas that are like coming out, there's uh, tends to be a lot of uh, bloat on the UI. So it's very refreshing to have a rather clean and easy to read one at a glance. All right, show me the crafting. So I think whether or not this will be a good atelier game will depend on the characters and the crafting system. And it is possible that it could be a good atelier game or just a good gotcha game. or it could be shit <laughs> or both could be shit uh, we don't know yet <laughs> who licks a random piece of candy that they find okay synthesis to combine materials through synthesis Healing solve. Select a character who matches the gift color. So blue and yellow. Okay, so I need a yellow. So we're looking at Guardian's Blessing and Single Recovery. Okay. Fire Shield? What if I do this instead? Strike Shield? Sure, we'll go with that one. Okay, so interesting. I mean, the whole sequence, the whole sequence is pretty cute. I'm not sure about the the alchemy itself, though. We're gonna have to see what the the gotcha is like. What? other characters add to like the different combinations all right so i will say that the prologue is starting to overstay its welcome so even though it's you know voice acted and everything uh this beginning intro is um This beginning intro is... has quite a bit of fluff to it. Alright, so they're making a lineup. We only have one person. It, it, it's a common issue that I find with gacha games, uh, where they do this whole beginning tutorial mode. I've... I haven't skipped anything, and I'm currently almost 40 minutes in. Uh... Now, obviously, you could cut down on this time by just hitting the skip button or like spam clicking through, but I'm just letting it all play out. We're already 40 minutes in and the game itself hasn't really unlocked, uh, unlocked itself. So uh, it looks good. Voice acting sounds great. The soundtrack is uh, pretty OK. The big concern right now is the gameplay loop uh, because it is a what is this? Um, I'm assuming this is a gear piece uh, because a gotcha 
The Atelier game is centered around gathering, crafting, and, you know, the storyline. And usually gacha games have, I mean, they'll have their storylines, but their games are centered around some sort of, like, combat or combat, raids, dungeons, challenges, whatever. So I'm interested in how they are going to adapt the gacha with Atelier. Uh, oh, okay, I see what they're doing, so, uh, that's actually kind of interesting. They're streamlining the, uh, story to combat, uh, by just basically running it all together. Uh, so typically in, you know, your gacha game, you have your, you go into your story mode or whatever, and you have a bunch of nodes, you know, one, two five, three, ten, four, whatever, however many are going to be for that chapter. Click on stage one, you get some story bits, you go into combat, click on stage two, you get some story, go into combat, yada, yada, yada. Uh, so it does seem like it's kind of streamlining this, so you have your story segment interrupted by a combat uh, situation like we're doing right now. Uh, after we do this combat segment, we're probably going to get more story or character interaction and so on so I, I think that's what they're aiming for right now Ooh, hold up we got some vocals for the ba uh, battle music all right that's that's really cool I like that Oh, yeah, I don't, I don't want to, I just want to sit here. All right, let's go ahead and pick out him. Ooh, an hour long tutorial. Jesus. Ooh, what is this? Oh, it's the opening. Standard anime opening. So I guess we have, what, maybe two from Tagnus, maybe? Whoever that's, uh, horned girl is. Ooh, okay, that's pretty cool. Oh my god, hand folding! Why are you standing in the water with your shoes? Channeling her inner Ayaka. Oh my god, finally the home screen again. Yeah, so that was that was an hour-long tutorial without skipping anything. Uh, a bit much, if I have to say. Three character, three-star character guaranteed. Uh, who's it gonna be? God, there's even a song for the pool. Oh, please. Ooh, okay. Got a little romance going on here? 
This goes way too hard for a summoning animation. Oh my god, it's Genshin Impact. Who are you? Okay. Logi, Alchemist of Dusk. You are... You're the main character of one of the games, I think, right? Like a, a co... co... protagonist. Your name definitely sounds familiar. So it looks like there's only... Yeah, half off on your uh, paid. So, I mean, it's there to incentivize people to pay, obviously. Uh, I'm personally not a fan of the paid... Uh, the split between paid and regular. Uh, so these... So, free wish. Let's just get that one out of the way. Uh, okay, we're not gonna watch that every time, so we're just gonna skip. And we got a Memoria. Uh, so a 4% drop rate for a 3 star character. Okay, that's not bad. 2% for an SSR Memoria. And then each individual 3 star has their 0.5, which is generally, um... Oh, these are the raid ups get the 0.5, and then everybody else uh, has a one, uh, 0.181. Oh, so we only have. We can only craft six times, and it's on a three, four hour recharge time. Oh, okay, so that's. And then you can refresh with your crystals. All right, that's not that's not great. Um, to have the alchemy portion uh, behind such a stamina meter. All right, so we're gonna end this off with a wish. Uh, but real quick before we get into that, I'm gonna just give some thoughts. They're gonna be a little stream of conscious. And I'm gonna... I'll try and keep it concise through editing and cuts. Uh, but right now, I mean, just based off of the prologue and what's available, available to me, like I don't have the recipe book uh, open or a lot of the atelier open. Uh, obviously, I need to progress to the story a bit more. But right now, I have a feeling that this game doesn't necessarily know what it wants to be because uh, right now as an Atelier game I don't think Atelier fans are going to like this at all uh, especially with the crafting being so limited right so I think I don't think Atelier fans are going to like this at all um, because of the restrictions around the crafting and oh yeah about the story and since Atelier is story based and gotchas are limited in their stories. So, like, I can't even check to see how much story is available. Like, how many chapters does this go? Uh, because when you get to the end of what's available, anybody interested in story then has to wait for the update, uh, whatever their update cycle is going to be, in adding more story to continue on. And then in the in-between portion, you know, what are they doing in between all of that? Um, because, I mean, at the end of the day, a gotcha is trying to get as many people to play as often as possible so that, you know, more enticing to, you know, buy stuff, to wish on characters, yada yada. I mean, that's the whole point of gotcha. If you're not a gotcha player, then, you know, buyer beware. But if you play gotcha, you know the deal, right? Uh, and the risks involved with all of that. And then, 
as a gacha game, I don't know if it's going to be all that good in that sense either. Uh, obviously, the big sell is going to be the series characters uh, for, you know, the, the favorites. Uh, like, we have all the protagonists here uh, that people can look forward to pulling and you know, others that haven't made it into the game yet. I'm, a sh I'm sure outfits are somewhere in the pipeline, like alternate character outfits and costumes. Um, but as far as like the update cycle, I don't know how long their update, update cycle is gonna be. If it's gonna be like every two weeks, three weeks, six weeks, whatever. Uh, and then what do you do uh, for the gameplay loop? Obviously you go through the story and then you're going to craft when you can unlock more. But after you finish the story, what is what is the end game? What is trying to craft that, you know, potion to fight some sort of hard boss or something? Which, you know, Atelier is not a combat driven series so it, it's it's a confusing identity is what I'm getting to um, so I, I don't know how this is gonna go the presentation itself although a little long-winded for the prologue is fine I, I think it looks great you know visually it looks great the music's all upbeat I really dig the battle music with the vocals the shoot the summoning for the wishing uh, also is like really high quality uh, I just don't know where this gotcha is gonna go. So yeah, I and like right now it has if you check the Steam reviews, it's pretty mixed. Uh, but that's uh, that's of course due to a lot of people not liking the fact that it's a gotcha game instead of a mainline, or that it's mobile instead of mainline. So there's some discrepancy there. But as somebody who regularly plays gotchas, who is not entirely invested in the Atelier series as at, uh, other Atelier fans. This one just overall feels like a mixed bag. That it's just way too early to tell what this gotcha is, where it's going, what it's going to be. Uh, this could be, you know, I'm, I'm going to call it like a side game, something that you just boot up, listen to a, a story for a little bit, do some crafting and then you're you're done that's what I'm gonna predict that this uh, game will be to many people um, but other than that you know who knows it could be end of service you know six months down the line because of you know what it's like uh, so that's just something to keep in mind uh, check it out if it interests you if you're an Atelier fan just go in it go into it knowing that it is going to be more gotcha than Atelier. But overall, I mean, the presentation alone is pretty nice. Uh, and story-wise, the prologue was long-winded, but who knows where it's going to go from here. Uh, it might continue on with the, you know, cute girls doing cute things angle, uh, sort of like how, you know, Love Live the, the various Love Life games are all, you know, there's not much real substance to the story. It's just the daily lives of the different like idol girls and everything. Um, but who knows what the story is? I'll, I'll, I'll probably check it out. I don't think I'll cover much of it, but I'll continue to push through to see if it opens up a bit more, and I'll give an update in the future. I'm going to go for uh, Give Me Ryza. That, that's what I want. Give me Ryza. Let's end this off with a three star. All right, so where's the clue? Obviously, when we get to the very end, it'll show me a color. Looking for any sort of hints. Oh. There you go, is that three star? Or you just baited me out. I, it's gold. 
I'm, I'm assuming that's a free stuff. Oh, uh, don't give me an SSR. God damn it. All right. <laughs> All right, SSR, Memoria, Weapon, Gear, Piece, whatever. So that's pretty good. The gang. Another one? All right. Alchemist of Dusk. There's Logi. Oh, and a character. Oh, but you're one star. I got you again. Monica. Just Monica. Never knew. Okay. Another Marion. Um, I don't actually know if this is good or not. Uh, but there. Two... Two SSRs. Uh, I'll probably give this one to Logi. Maybe. Air Affinity. Heal up. I don't know. I'll explore around a bit. Anyways, that's a first look into Atelier Wrestleriana. Uh, let me know down below what you think of the game so far, if you tried it, or what do you think from what I've previewed here today, and whether or not you're going to play with it or stick with it. Uh, what do you think about Atelier combining with a gacha system? Do you think it's going to last? Is this something you're going to play? If you haven't already, feel free to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I'm Atheus, and I want to thank you all for watching.